Welcome back. You may have noticed a few chips in the bag at the grocery store, but the price is still the same or has increased. Well, some lawmakers in Washington want to crack down on what's known as shrinkflation. Our Rashad Hudson shares more. Shrinkflation, less product for more money. It's an issue that's affecting Main Street and Sesame Street. Cookie Monster posted on X that his cookies are getting smaller. People are, are, are suffering under this. Ohio Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown says people should not be paying more for fewer chips or cookies in the bag. He says corporations are ripping off the American people doing all kinds of deceitful marketing, deceitful sales practices. Brown wants to crack down on companies for quietly shrinking the size of their products, then charging more. People are paying more for their groceries because of stock buybacks and because of profiteering by a lot of American companies. Brown has introduced a bill that would make it easier for state and federal officials to sue corporations that engage in shrinkflation. But Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul says it's not just the cookies that are shrinking. The dollar is shrinking and it's from debt. Paul says massive government spending is driving inflation. Well, the government should be involved only in the sense that the government should quit devaluing the dollar. My colleagues are all, always seem at the ready to do the bidding of corporate America. Brown's bill also has the backing of the White House. Same size bag. Put fewer chips in it. No, I'm not joking. It's called shrinkflation. President Biden raised the issue during his State of the Union address earlier this month. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson.